Welcome everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new GIMKit assignments, how you can assign them, rename them, get them to your students, and also what the games look like. So first off, uh, find the kit that you want your students to study. So let's say I want to use this one right here. We're going to click the Assign Homework button over here on the right. You have two options, Fishtopia and Cash Tycoon. Fishtopia was, came out last year, so students might already be familiar with it. Cash Tycoon is new, and it came out just over this uh, summer, 2022. So why don't we do that one? We'll click it, click Continue. You have some options in here as far as a due date. I believe there is a limit as to how far out. Yeah, you can set it. I think it's someone said 45 days or something like that. Uh, and then you can pick a class if you have classes set up or not, so anybody can use it. Give them a cash goal or and or you can also give them a question goal. So if they answer 50 questions correctly or whatever, you can set that to whatever number you want to. So let's just leave it at 75. We'll click continue. And then right here, actually you can change the name. So like if this was your uh, first period Spanish one, you know, lesson two or whatever, click save and then it's renamed now. And I can click share or copy this link right here. So uh, let's just click copy link. And I'm gonna get that link to my students. Now, since I did not choose a class, anybody that gets that link can go ahead and join and play that game. Uh, get that link to them via your LMS, Google Classroom, Canvas, whatever you're using. Now, uh, let's say that you've been doing this for a little while now, and you wanna see uh, the students that are completing it. We're gonna click on assignments over here on the left. Okay, so I'll click uh, results, and then you can see uh, when students complete the work, it has their name here. If you want more specifics, you can do that by clicking on the report right here. And you can see how many they got correct, their accuracy, uh, which question on the right, which ones they got correct, which ones they got incorrect. Uh, if you wanna see a specific class, you can click right there. Uh, and you can get some info like that, which is pretty cool. And you can see, as a reminder, what you set the requirements to. If you want to see a report that has like everything combined, click on this open report button, and then this pops up, and you can click on general overview, and you can see how many questions the students got right as a whole group. Okay, so why don't we play that game really quick to see what it looks like. Remember earlier I copied it, so I'm gonna put that link here. Um, it loads you in and it tells you down here at the bottom how much money you have to earn or how many questions you have to do. And click start if you want to before you start. I believe you can change your avatar up here at the top right locker. There you go, pick the one you want to be. And then click assignment info down here at the bottom, start assignment. And then there is the 2D option here where, I, where you move around. It's essentially the same. Just started. Essentially the same as the original traditional the game kit assignments. The difference though is they added the 2D function to it. So come up here, we'll answer questions to earn money like normally. Like normal. We're gonna do a couple questions here. Okay. Now if you wanna the students want to play the game like by earning money and stuff like that, they can do the multiplier, multiplier the insurance is down on the bottom right, they can do the street bonus and the money for questions. So they can use that if they want to earn more money and maybe try and get a high score or something like that. And then when they're done, uh, the game tells them when they're done, and you can see it in the reports. And that's pretty much it. And the Fishtopia, if you've ever played that before, it's, it's Fishtopia. So uh, that's a good game. It's worth playing. The students should like it. That's pretty much it. If you guys have questions about this video or anything in it, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next one. Adios.